welcome to Lady Red Crafting. Today, we're going to take this Dollar Tree sign and deconstruct it and make three different crafts. Let's get started with craft number one. For our first craft, we're going to take the Home of the Brave part of the sign, some beautiful butterfly napkins, and our zip sander. And we're going to go ahead and sand off any of those sparkles that are on the front of this sign. Once all of those sparkles have been sanded off, we're going to brush that off. And we'll grab a paintable surface and we'll place that on top. Now I'm going to grab some chalk paint. This chalk paint is in the color ivory, but you could use white as well. What we want to do is just something really light and bright on the bottom layer because we want the beautiful butterflies to really shine through when we do the decoupaging. Next, I'm gonna grab my napkin and I use a piece of painter's tape to help me pull apart the different layers of the napkin. We're only gonna use the top part of the napkin. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab some of my Mod Podge and this is matte Mod Podge. I got this at the dollar store and I'm going to spread a nice coat of Mod Podge on this sign. Once that dries, I'm going to do a second coat and let that dry as well. So while that's drying, I'm going to grab one of these chalkboard tags that I got at the dollar store. So this is where I cheat a little. My handwriting is terrible. And so I could have wrote with my chalk pen or some chalk the, a word that I'd like to put on there. But honestly, my handwriting is terrible which is one of the main reasons why I have a Cricut Joy. And I cut out the word hello. And I'm just going to go ahead and transfer that sticker right on to this chalk tag. But as I said earlier, feel free to use chalk, chalk pen. You could even paint the letters or a monogram on there. You can pick whatever word or phrase you'd like to put on here. And then once this is done, I want to cover that hole on that chalk tag so I'm just going to make a quick ribbon bow here and then we'll add this bow on top of the tag. Now we'll move back on to the decoupage. So for this step here now that our Mod Podge has dried I'm going to go ahead and set this napkin on top of our sign and I'm using a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to iron that napkin right onto the sign. Next, I'm going to trim off some of that excess napkin and use my zip sander to go ahead and smooth out all the edges. Now that we got all of the edges sanded down, I'm going to grab the Mod Podge and we're going to just do a nice layer over the top of our napkin just to seal everything in. So I'm really getting into decoupage lately. And I'd love for any of you viewers out there to recommend any napkins you'd like to see me decoupage. So if you see any links on Amazon or anywhere else um, and would like to send me those links in the comments below, I can take a look and um, we can see about putting some of those other napkins on our channel. While we were talking, I went ahead and measured out two 16 inch pieces of ribbon. And I'm taking my hot glue gun, I'm going to attach the ribbon onto the back side of the sign. And I use my makeup applicator to help just push that ribbon into the hot glue. Next, I'm going to go ahead and tie a nice bow with this ribbon so we have a nice way of hanging this sign. Once that bow is complete, we're going to finish off the bow that we made earlier. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and add that to our hello sign. And this will cover up that hole on that chalkboard tag. Now let's grab our hot glue and attach the hello sign. We're going to cover up the little words that were on the napkin so we can't see those. Now we'll remove our pink clips and we have a beautiful sign ready to hang. On to craft number two. For this craft, we're going to use the Live Free sign, a small wreath form from the Dollar Tree, and some clothespins. For this craft, we're going to make a non-traditional wreath using the clothespins to decorate the whole entire wreath. 
For our first step here, we take a gallon size freezer bag and we go ahead and pour some Waverly wax paint into the bottom of the bag. And I'm going to add a little bit of water and we'll seal the bag and just mix all of that up. We'll just set that aside for a few minutes and make up another bag. For this bag, we're gonna use the Waverly white chalk paint and some water as well. And once all of those are mixed up, we're gonna add 24 clothespins to each one of the bags. Once the clothespins are added, we're gonna shake the bags up and coat everything completely. This is the fun part. So get your kids involved if you feel they are trustworthy enough to not open the bag and spill it everywhere. I just wanna take a quick moment and say thank you to all you viewers out there. I really appreciate all the support. And if you like these videos and wanna see more, please hit that subscribe button below. So for this next step, it gets kind of messy. So I get some disposable gloves on and I go ahead and start pulling out all of the clothespins. I use a paper towel just to dab them off and then we'll go ahead and lay them all out on a dryable surface so that they can dry. So I air dried these clothespins and it took over four hours for them to dry completely. So just be prepared that if you're air drying these that it's going to take a little while. So now that all the clothespins are dry, we grab our wreath form. And for this step, we're going to take the um, brown clothespins and I put those on the inside two rings of the wreath. And then for the white one, I put that on the outside ring and the center ring. And I'm just alternating the colors and which rings I'm putting the wreath on. And at first it kind of feels a little wonky, but once you start getting all of these clothespins on there, it just comes right together and it looks great. So earlier I did say that I used 24 of these clothespins for each color. And after I put them all on the wreath, I ended up only needing a total of 45 clothespins. So you could do a little bit less when you are dyeing them. So now it's time to attach this sign. What I'm going to do is use four pipe cleaners and I'm folding them in half and I'm taking some hot glue and I'm dabbing that in each one of the corners. To make sure everything is secure, I add a piece of ribbon or fabric over the top of the hot glue just so everything stays glued nice and tight on that sign. Next, I'm going to make a pretty bow. For this bow, I'm taking some ribbon and I'm doing one loop and then another loop and then I'm cinching them together in the center. And I do that again for loop number three, loop number four, loop number five, then loop number six. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of ribbon at the end for a tail. And then what I'll do here is I take a pipe cleaner and I cinch it right in the center and I twist really tight. And you could leave the bow just like this, but I like to cover up that pipe cleaner. So what I'll do here once I've done fluffing the bow is I cut a little piece of ribbon and I hot glue that around the center of this bow. Now I'm just going to trim the ends of the bow. For this one, I'm just gonna do a diagonal cut, but you can also do a dovetail if you like that better. Now it's time to attach the sign. To attach the sign, I'm folding in the pipe cleaner and setting the sign on top of the front side of the wreath. The next step is to weave the wire through the wreath form and then twist and attach the pipe cleaner to the wreath. And at first I tried weaving it through the clips and then I realized, oh, these are clips. Let's just take the clips off. So now I took the clips off. I got that wire in between everything on the wreath and I just twisted them tight and I just folded in the pipe cleaner because later on I may switch this out with a different sign in the center. So I wanted to make it really easy to pull the top part of the sign out. For the final touch, we're going to add the bow to the wreath. 
I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue the bow onto one of the clips. And this will make it easy if I want to switch out the bows later. I can just switch the clip out and replace it with another clip and bow. And now this wreath is ready to display. Craft number three. For this craft, we're using our last sign, American the Beautiful. I'm taking a zip sander and we're just going to sand off all of the sparkles on the sign. So now it's time to prep this to paint. I'm going to remove the hanger from the top of the sign and I grab my Waverly chalk paint in the color Maze. And we're going to do a thin coat of paint on the cover of this sign. I'm going to repeat that step and do a second coat. I realized that I didn't like the way that the paint was covering the sign, so I just added a piece of felt and I'm going to make that the back of the sign now. I'm flipping the sign over to the back side and we're going to start again by painting this with the color maze. I am going to do two coats of the maze paint. Now I grabbed some fun stencils from Amazon and these Amazon stencils come in a four pack and to make them easier to use, there's some lines in between all of the stencils. and I'm just gonna cut this into four little squares. Now I'm going to grab my chalk paste in the color vintage lace and for the stencil we'll use the be kind stencil we're just going to do a quick defuzz on the stencil and this is a self-adhesive stencil and it's reusable so i really like these and they're priced reasonably i believe it was like 4.99 for all four of these stencils and i can just keep reusing them to apply the chalk paste i'm using a squeegee to paint the chalk paste onto the stencil now that the chalk paste has been applied we're going to go ahead and remove the stencil from the sign. And we want to try to do this in one quick motion so that way we don't disturb any of the paint. And to clean the stencil, I just use hot soapy water and then reapply it to the paper it came on. Now I'm grabbing my Jolene wax, finishing wax in the clear color. And we're just going to do a quick coat over the top to seal everything in. Now it's time for some finishing touches. I'm using some opaque white ribbon to make a new hanger for the sign. Next I'll grab some greenery and I'm just going to do a quick little swag around the ribbon there and I just hot glue that to the sign and once that's complete I'll add a nice bow to finish everything off. And now our sign is complete and ready to display. Thank you again for watching and until next time. Craft more, stress less.